stage. Nice, got that to a, just perfect. Sec so that's that's looking just, dare I say, nearly perfect now, which is really good, Owen. That's because you've put in the time to practice that. Look at that. Really nice, compact, flat back, all just nice and neat. Really, really good. Really proud. Stage, nice and low, nice and tight, strong, getting behind. When you're on your own, you can do this for a lot longer. Yeah? Yeah. But we're not going to waste time, just, you know what I mean? But you can stay there, you can stay there for five minutes, perfect. Stay there for five minutes. Get your dad or your mum, you know what I mean? Longer the better. If you can do it for ten minutes, happy days. But here, we're not going to waste time. But that's a lovely posture, and then away you go. So, nice and slow. Think of those reins, don't, don't forget what I said before. We're always adding to it. But nice wide bridge, holding on to the horse's mouth. Lots to think of. And then let's have a look at a couple of waves. Right, so just analysing this waving, right? Again, being real strict. We really, ideally, to make it easier for you, again, that's not wrong, but we want to be waving more. So let's have a look at this. We want to be waving more, kind of longer, with longer kind of waving movements in time with your other hand, yeah? So you, so both hands are going together, which should make it easier for you. Because at the moment you're waving, but you're waving to here, and your other hand's not really doing anything. All right. Again, it's it's not wrong as such, but it's just it's not in, it's not in rhythm with your other hand. Where if you had the wave going kind of longer this way, with your movement of your hand at the same, with your movement of your other hand at the same time. Um, I mentioned it. Uh, and we just need to work on it a little bit more. It'll make it a lot easier for you, I'm sure. Put it down, punch, 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 and then another leg. Put it down, punch, 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 one more leg. Good. Have a sit, have a sit down. But going back to the very start, when I said just start pushing, it was obviously after two or three kind of sessions we had, it was a lot, lot better straight away because you've got more of a hold with the horse. You have a look here, so you're just keeping still there. And now you look here, you start moving. Oh, nice and slow. See, so look, that's slow, but it, it looks stronger straight away. You're not moving a lot there, are you? You've got a nice contact with the horse's mouth. Yeah, the reins are nice and tight. Um, Forget what I said before. And it's, it just looks stronger. So you're not actually doing a lot with your arms there. Nice wide bridge, holding onto the horse's mouth. Yeah, a lot better there because you're holding onto the horse's mouth. Yes, sometimes I want you to have more shoulder movement, but this is just demonstrating holding onto that horse's mouth, having a better contact, and that's exactly what you're doing there. If you wind it back to there, rewind it forward. Look, you're not letting go of the horse's mouth, which is good. That's really good. And then let's have a look at a couple of waves. Put it down, punch, 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 and then another wave. Again, don't forget, when I say do things slower, you're obviously not going to be able to do that on, on the horse in real life, as it were, but it just strengthens everything up. Hard to explain why it does or how it does, but doing something slower it just makes you stronger. It, it works those muscles uh, more. I'm going to work on that waving of the stick more going forward with your other hand. But that was really good, really good.